All right there, friends. How you doing? It's Jimmy Maverick here. We're going to do another live draft, a best ball draft. Going to continue to work on our strategy and what players we want to target. And uh, things are interesting right now. We're less than a month away from the NFL draft. That's obviously going to change a lot of values of the rookies. And it's also going to push some uh, uh, push some established players down on the draft board. So we're going to continue to monitor this. I haven't seen a lot of changes in the makeup of who's going where. Um, I did see Josh Jacobs continues to move up. He is now in the top nine. He is going uh, in, in the third round. And Travis Etienne has been pushed down just a little bit into the fourth round. That's one uh, major change I've seen here. Uh, but it's it's all about the same from where it's been. So let's run another draft today. I'd like to get a draft position in the at the end of the draft board, you know, uh, 10th, 11th, 12th, because I really want to run that strategy. I haven't had a chance to do that. The latest pick I've had so far is eight. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, if you haven't done so already, man, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. We're doing drafts all during the offseason here. Going to help you out drafting awesome teams for both best ball and for regular fantasy football. But right now we're doing best ball and uh, coming right back with that draft. All right. Well, this started all of a sudden and um, I got the first overall pick in the draft. And so uh, this is a uh, th this is always the blessing and the curse. The blessing and the curse. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little jump here. I'm going to take Bijan first. Uh, you know, I've been taking, I've been doing really heavy wide receiver early in drafts. Uh, but, uh, you know, obviously that is counter to the to the counselor's preferred method of going robust running be uh, 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 running back. Uh, so anyway, we're going to try it here. See what the team looks like when we're done building it. See how we like it. And um, let me also just get this set up with our draft board so we can watch that as well. And so obviously picking first, we're going to have the 24th and the 25th pick. So let's kind of look on the draft board at around that point to see who we like. Um, so we've got um, a bunch of wide receivers, Stefan Diggs, Rashi Rice, Debo Samuel, Chris Olave. I do uh, I do like Chris Olave. I do kind of like Rashi Rice, although I'm not sure he's not even the one on his team. Um, Mike Evans, I think, is a regression. Tank Dell, I have concerns. Pittman is a regression. Now, now look at how it's it's like all wide receivers. Look at this. Um, maybe Josh Allen will make it to me. Uh, who are the next running backs that are going out? Uh, well, there's Josh Jacobs at 35. So I could take Josh Jacobs like super early if I wanted to do that. Um, it would be like, uh, uh, you know, if I did robust RB, I could go Jacobs and Etienne. I know I could for sure get those guys at the uh, second and third round. And then we can see what kind of team we build. You know, I mean, again, uh, every time I've done the early running backs, the wide receivers go so fast and they just they just vaporize off the board. Like I said, 40 wide receivers in the first six rounds. And so if you wait too long, and really it's mostly by the fifth round, those 40 wide receivers are gone. Uh, 40 out of the top 72 picks are wide receivers. And so um, by us going running back, it's going to be very, very challenging um, for us to get good wide receivers later on. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to show you how what happens, man. I mean, this is a this is a learning lesson. And and again, when you're talking about, oh, I could have Chris Olave and Rashi Rice as my two wide receivers. And I, I'm not actually opposed to that. I actually kind of like that because I think I could grab Mahomes with my fourth pick at the end of the fourth round. That would be an awesome stack to have him with Rashi Rice. Um, you know, so, uh, it's, uh, it's a tough call though. Likewise, if Josh Allen makes, makes it to us, I would be very tempted to take that. Um, so let's kind of see what's going on here. So again, first round four running backs, eight wide receivers. This is it. This is how it is anymore, right? I mean, it, it's, it used to be reversed. It used to be eight running backs, four wide receivers in the first round. It is completely reversed. We've seen the decline in the value of running backs and how they're all in running back by committees now. Very difficult. Uh, so, you know, again, in the top 36 picks on best ball leagues, only nine running backs are coming off the board. So that means you can wait on running backs, but we're not going to do it. We're going robust running back. And that's what we're going to do. And I think we're easily going to get our guys, uh, Jacobs and Etienne. I could also maybe go for Henry if one of those guys is taken. And eh, we'll have to see what happens. Um, but uh, in the first round, you know, I took Bijan first. Then it was Tyree Kill, Christian McCaffrey, CeeDee Lamb, Jamar Chase. Then Brees Hall, uh, Jameer Gibbs went 6-7. Uh, 
Uh, Justin Jefferson, Amon Ra, Puka, Garrett, and A.J. Brown closed out the first round. That's very typical. Second round started with Kieran Williams, Marvin Harrison, uh, then Jonathan Taylor, Saquon Barkley go off. So, uh, you know, a pretty heavy uh, running back early. Uh, but then Nico Collins, Brandon Ayuk, Devontae Adams, Devin Achain comes off at 20. DJ Moore, Drake London, Josh Allen, he came off, so he, he's not going to make it to us. So we are going to stick with robust running back. Josh Jacobs, very much like his, uh, what he can do this next year. I really like his situation. Travis Etienne, rock solid RB3. So we're, we're really set for a while with running backs. I think I'm not going to pivot back to running back until probably at least round 10. I'll target some of the rookies, you know, uh, uh, some of those guys uh, who I like. But um, And look, Derrick Henry came off uh, first, for second pick of the third round. So this is one of those situations where we have a long, long wait between picks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video. We'll come back when we're within three. We'll see what happened, and we'll figure out how we're going to go. So uh, I will just pause it right here. All right, so look at what happened in the third round after my pick. Nine more wide receivers went off the board. If you look at the board for the first three rounds, it's mostly wide receivers. So it was me. I took Travis Etienne. Then Derrick Henry came off. Stefan Diggs, Rashi Rice, Debo Samuel, Mike Evans, Michael Pittman, Chris Olave, then Sam Laporta, the tight end one comes off. Malik Neighbors, Jalen Waddell, DK Metcalf closed out the third round. Fourth round started with Jalen Hurts, uh, elite uh, rushing um, uh, quarterback. Travis Kelsey come, comes off right after that. Keenan Allen and then Lamar Jackson. So the three elite rushing quarterbacks are all off the board by pick 40. But if you're picking late in the draft board, I totally like waiting till the fourth round to grab either Lamar Jackson or Jalen Hurts. Now, obviously, we're not going with that strategy. And, and look, Patrick Mahomes just came off at 45. So that's off of my strategy now. Um, so I think we're definitely going to go double wide receiver here. Tank Dell comes off at pick 46. Cooper Cups comes off at 47. So we've got uh, choices like Amari Cooper, Romo Dunze, George Pickens, Christian Kirk, Jaden Reed. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with Amari Cooper. He's a rock solid uh, player. And then, uh, you know, the rookie is always risky. George Pickens also, ugh, boy, man, this is, this is tough. Um, who do I want to go with? I don't, I'm not really want a, a lot of exposure to Jacksonville. I think, I think I'm going to go Jaden Reed here. I really like the upside of Jaden Reed. I, I like the Green Bay offense. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I think, uh, that was a great option. So, so we've started out with, Three wide, three running backs, two wide receivers, and my my, my wide receiver one, Mari Cooper, wide receiver two, Jaden Reed. That's pretty good. I mean, it's it's, I mean, it's not as good obviously as if I had gotten like Jamar Chase and Drake London with my first two, uh, you know, uh, wide receivers. But uh, it's it's very these are very solid plays, and both have wide receiver one upside in my opinion. So I, I do like that. Um, and obviously we're, we're missing on all the elite quarterbacks, which is kind of disappointing for me, but I think I can go with some interesting stacks here. We'll see what happens, but I'm just going to pause. We'll come back and we'll review and we'll see what, where we want to go for the next. All right. So uh, after my pick of Jaden Reed, it went Trey McBride, uh, Zay Flowers, Mark Andrews, Christian Kirk, Romo Dunze, Isaiah Pacheco comes off at 55, Terry McLaurin 56, George Pickens, and then Kenneth Walker, Alvin Kamara, Joe Mixon closed out the fifth round. I like all those guys in the fifth round, except for maybe Kamara because I think he's a little old. Oh, it's back to us. Okay, it came back to us very quickly. Um, okay, so again, uh, you could see how picked over the wide receivers are at this point. Um, you know, uh, a rookie, Brian Thomas Jr., Jordan Addison, who I, I just don't like Minnesota's situation. I don't like what they got going on. Um, I think I'm definitely going to take Deontay Johnson here because he's going to be the one in Carolina, which is not a great team. And then I'm really debating here because I can get the stack with love. And I've already got I've already got Jacobs and Jaden Reed. So I think I'm going to go with the stack here. Um, because I didn't go elite uh, quarterback, so I'm going to work on the stacks a little bit more than I normally do. Um, but I like that. So, so Deontay's my my wide receiver three. Jordan Love coming in here as my quarterback one. Um, so again, I got him stacked with Josh Jacobs and Jaden Reed. I like that. I could go for uh, um, Kirk Cousins later to stack with Bijan. I could go for. Um, Trevor Lawrence uh, later, if I wanted to, I'm not really thrilled with Lawrence, but to, to stack with Etienne. 
Um, you know, don't really want, um, don't really want Cleveland's quarterback situation. Caroline, also Bryce Young. I could stack Bryce Young super late. Bryce Young is a guy going like in the 17th round as my QB three. It's not a terrible choice. I'm, I'm on board with that. So, uh, not a bad build so far. Uh, it, it looks pretty good. I need more wide receivers though. And it's just, it just thins out so quickly here. You can see how thin it is at round seven and the kind of players we're picking from. So uh, anyway, I'm going to pause. We'll come back uh, and uh, review and see where we're going to go for the next round of picks. All right, so since my Jordan Love pick, we had Evan Ingram come off right after that, then Jordan Addison, Najee Harris, DeAndre Swift, Tony Pollard, then two more quarterbacks, Dak Prescott, Kyler Murray. Then we got the rookie, Brian Thomas Jr., wide receiver. Chris Godwin comes off at 82. Brock Bowers, uh, rookie tight end at 83. DeAndre Hopkins closes out the seventh round. Eighth, eighth round begins with James Conner, Austin Eckler. Then the rookie, Caleb Williams, number one quarterback uh, in this year's draft. Um, Nick Chubb. Then we've got George Kittle and Jake Ferguson coming off. I, I kind of like George Kittle here in the eighth round. That's really good value, and he's a great player for best ball. I hate him for regular fantasy football because he's so inconsistent, but he is. He's got he's got such a high ceiling and can just explode on a given week. I, I love it. So um, then Javante Williams comes off. Christian Watson, a guy I, I don't have any interest in. The guy can't stay healthy. Um, I, I heard today he went to see some specialist about his recurring and persistent hamstring injuries. Raheem Mostert comes off at 93. Dude just signed a two-year contract extension at Miami, taking him to age like I think that's 33 or 34. Uh, I think he's going to be in for a big decline this year. Uh, you know, uh, clearly a regression with those touchdown totals, increased role by Devon Achain, and I think uh, Jeff Wilson Jr. is a sneaky, sneaky end of the draft pick um, that someone who could come in. He was great two years ago, was injured last year, didn't play much. Okay, it's back to us. Okay, so Jalen Warren and then Mike Williams comes off at 95. We still need to continue to build the wide receivers here. And so I think what I'm going to do, oh, man, because uh, I will not get, okay, I think I got to go with the rookie what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take Tyler Lockett. I really like Lockett here, man. I think he's great value. Um, and then I think I'm going to I'm going to go back to running back here. I got to take I got to take Trey Benson, man. If that guy goes to either the Chargers or Dallas, he's going to be golden, man. That's uh, such a great uh, great combination. So I've got I've got four running backs and four wide receivers and my quarterback in the first nine rounds. That's not a bad start. I kind of like that. Um, you know, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, I don't hate my wide receivers. They're not as strong as they usually are, but I do need to load up. I need to get myself like set, like eight wide receivers, probably five running backs. So I'm almost done with my running backs here. I need one more. Um, but uh, overall, I'm really happy with how this is going so far. Uh, you know, again, robust running back, not really letting me down here. Um, so, uh, you know, I might continue to do this. I, you know, Jordan Love is my QB one. I, I'm, I, I like it cause he's stacked. He's stacked with two other players. That's great. Uh, but he's, and I think he offers great value where he's going in the draft. I think offers great value, um, especially relative to C.J. Stroud. We were talking about this on Counselor's show that uh, C.J. Stroud finished at the quarterback nine, yet he's going as the QB five on draft boards this year, whereas Jordan Love was the QB five, and he's going as the QB nine on draft boards this year. Um, Jordan Love's just clearly a, a better value, better value choice. And look at how much later I got him from C.J. Stroud, a full round, basically. So um, anyway, I'm going to pause. We'll come back when, and we'll review and uh, we'll see where we're going to go. Okay, so it's almost back to me. Um, unfortunately, I waited too long on the tight end, and I'm really disappointed because I, I like to get Dalton Schultz. He just went to pick 116. But anyway, since I took Trey Benson, it was then Brian Robinson, David Njoku, Tajay Spears, Zamir White, Brock Purdy goes at 102, Jameson Williams, Adonai Mitchell, Cortland Sutton, Romeo Dobbs, Josh, Down, Josh Downs, all wide receivers, and then Justin Herbert closes out the ninth round. Tenth round, it's almost to me, it is to me. All right, so Stafford, look at that, Stafford, Lawrence, Cousins, Goff, geez, it was just a huge run on quarterbacks. Um, that's a problem for me, but I do still need, I need a tight end, so I got to take my tight end. Cole Komet is really the only one that I really like as a tight end one, although his status is very questionable. 
I got to take him, but I'm going to get four tight ends. So, you know, that's all right. And I could close out my running backs with, with taking Chuba here. And I'm really tempted to do that because I think Chuba, Chuba's a solid play. And I then I got myself five solid RB1s, um, which would basically close out everything I need uh, as far as that goes. Uh, I think I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him. So I got my five. I got my five running backs. I don't need any more running backs. I'm going to focus on. Obviously, I got to get a lot more wide receivers. I got to get three more tight ends. I got to get two more quarterbacks. Um, kind of a tough round here with uh, the the huge run on quarterbacks that just happened. Um, so I'm going to have to really look to see who I want to grab for my QB two and QB three because right now it's a lot weaker than I like it to be. This is usually round ten is where I uh, ten eleven is where I like to grab my quarterback two. And so the fact that um, uh, we we missed on all these guys is just crazy. Uh, how many came off very quickly here? So um, uh, the the tenth round basically went Dallas Goddard, then Tua, Chase Brown, Jacoby Myers. Jonathan Brooks, another rookie running back. Then Jared Goff, Kirk Cousins, Dalton Schultz came off 116, Trevor Lawrence 117, Singletary 118, Stafford 119, and then and then I took Cole Komet at pick 120. I'll be right back, uh, and we'll look at the next uh, rounds and see who we're going to pick. All right, so in the 11th round, after my Chuba Hubbard pick, it went Troy Franklin, rookie wide receiver, Jane Daniels, rookie quarterback, Rashid Shahid, who's a guy I very much like for best ball, TJ Hawkinson, Gabe Davis, Jerry Judy, Blake Corum, rookie running back, Zach Moss, Keon Coleman, rookie wide receiver, Xavier Worthy, rookie wide receiver, Quentin Johnson closed out the 11th round, 12th round started with Brandon Cooks, Gus Edwards, Pat Freermuth, Jalen Wright, Zach Charbonnet, Aaron Rodgers comes off at pick 138, it's five picks to me, and uh, so I have... Highlighted, it looks like this is going to be a round for a bunch of wide receivers. Um, you know, the the quarterbacks also not great. I could probably grab, you know, I could grab Baker Mayfield here as my QB2. Um, not really thrilled with that a whole lot, but I, I might need to, uh, you know, because he does have pretty good uh, job security this year, although I do expect him to regress um, and, uh, it's kind of slim pickings. It's, it's kind of slim pickings at the quarterback position. Um, although where's Michael Penix going? Cause he's getting all sorts of buzz. Where's Penix? Oh, way later. All right. And then I might get Penix as my three. Um, well, let's hear since Aaron Rodgers, Curtis Samuel comes off Jerome Ford, Dontavian Wicks at 141, two picks to me now. Drake May comes off at 142. So again, a lot of quarterbacks. I think I definitely need to grab one quarterback in these picks, and I'm going to give, grab myself a wide receiver. Um, oh, look at this. Khalil Shakir is still available. He's the kind of guy I like for uh, fantasy football. Um, although Lad McConkey, I kind of really like that guy. Oh, boy. Because <sighs> Lad's probably going to be a second-round pick. I like that. And then I, I got to grab my QB, too. I'm going to grab Baker. All right, that's not too bad. I mean, so my quarterbacks are Jordan Love and, and Baker Mayfield. Uh, I really wanted to have a rushing quarterback, but it looks like I'm not going to get one here. Um, but uh, uh, not bad. So I've got, right now, I've only got one tight end. I got Cole Komet. I got two quarterbacks. I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four. I got five wide receivers, five running backs. So I still need to focus on wide receiver. I still need to get my tight ends. So we're going to continue to work on this. I'm going to pause. We'll come back and see where we're at. All right. So since Baker Mayfield, it was then Deshaun Watson, Luke Musgrave, Kendry Miller, Michael Wilson, Jaleel McLaughlin, Rico Dowdle, Will Levis, Khalil Shakir, Marvin Mims, Josh Palmer, Jahan Dotson. I really like Josh Palmer way more than I like Quentin Johnson, who went two full rounds earlier. Joshua Palmer outplayed Quentin Johnson when they were the only uh, wide receivers last year. So um, I kind of like his upside better. Um, and then to start the 14th round, it was Marshawn Lloyd, rookie running back. Bucky Irving, rookie running back. Michael Mayer, Las Vegas uh, tight end. Justin Fields, Xavier Leggett, rookie wide receiver. Kate Otten, uh, I, this is a guy I really like. Uh, he never comes off the field. He literally plays more snaps than any other player in the NFL, I think, um, as far as fantasy players. Tyler Algier, Darnell Mooney, three picks to me. 
Uh, if we look at my board here, I got a lot of wide receivers highlighted, so I'm probably going to grab some wide receivers, but I think I could grab my tight end too. Uh, here, I got some good choices with Isaiah Likely, Hunter Henry, and Jonu Smith. Um, so I think that's probably what I'm going to do this round. I'll grab a wide receiver and I'll grab a, uh, uh, grab a tight end too, um, which I definitely need. So I need some decent tight ends. And Hunter Henry is, is a great choice for fantasy. Okay, so uh, we got the rookie, Ricky Pearsall, Adam Thielen, old man Adam Thielen, Wandell Robinson. Um, I think because I grabbed a rookie last time, I'm going to grab Wandell Robinson here. Uh, again, guy got 78 targets last year. Hopefully this offense has improved. He can, he can do something. And then I think I'm going to grab Hunter Henry um, as my tight end too. I do like Hunter Henry for the touchdown upside that he offers. Uh, so that's not bad. So, you know, my tight ends right now, Cole Komet, Hunter Henry, not yet complete. I need some more tight ends. Um, but, uh, you know, now I'm up to six wide receivers, Amari Cooper, Jaden Reed, Deontay Johnson, Tyler Lockett, Lad McConkey, and Wandale Robinson. So not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, so I'm going to pause. We'll come back. We'll review. We'll see where we're going to go. There's only, uh, five more picks. So, uh, we'll make the most of them. All right. So it looks like I was at the front end of a tight end run because right after Hunter Henry went, then Chica Conquo, Isaiah Likely, John Smith all came off. Then Elijah Mitchell, Antonio Gibson, Roshan Johnson. Then Jatavian Sanders comes off. That's the rookie tight end. Ricky Pearsall, rookie wide receiver. That's a guy I actually like. I would have liked to have taken him on this last round, but I passed so I could take Hunter Henry. Geno Smith comes off at 178. That's nice value. Keaton Mitchell, Khalil Herbert closes out the 15th round. 16th round starts with Derek Carr. Great value there getting Carr. Uh, I like Carr as a QB3 for best ball. Rashad Bateman. Um, uh, Ray Davis, rookie running back, Bryce Young, another QB three that I very much like. He's going to, he's got the job security. He's going to play every game as long as he stays healthy. Uh, Jalen Polk, rookie wide receiver, Mike Gesicki, uh, tight end. Russell Wilson comes off at 187. That's disappointing because I was hoping Russell Wilson would make it to me. Um, old man, Adam Thielen comes off at 188. That's actually... I would take a chance on on Adam Thielen in the 16th round. That's such a bargain. And, you know, I mean, he's, he's older. I think he's 33 this year. Obviously very risky. He could be nothing. Deontay Johnson's now on the board ahead of him. Um, but still, I mean, basically as the wide receiver two in the 16th round for any NFL team, that's pretty good. You know, you, you got to like that. Uh, Miles Sanders comes off, pick 189. Two picks to me. Uh, if we look at my board, I've got a couple of uh, I got a, a couple of guys lined up here. Um, I I do like oh boy man, JJ McCarthy's getting a lot of hype. He's getting a lot of hype. <laughs> okay, hey look, you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Malachi Corley. I I do like this guy for this year for fantasy. This is great value here. So I'm gonna grab him. A lot of people are comparing him to. Uh, to Debo, he's got like a similar build, similar build to Debo, and he can do running back as well as uh, wide receiver. Um, you know, again, no quarterbacks here. I think I'm going to take Conk Conk here. Uh, again, a solid tight end three in the 16th round. I'm feeling better given that I, I ended up with, uh, you know, Cole Komet as my tight end one. So to have Cole Komet, Hunter Henry, and Tyler Conklin as my three tight ends, that's really good. I like that. I'm feeling weak at quarterback, though. Again, I, 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 just, I think I've just waited too long on quarterbacks. There still might be a couple of guys out there that I, that I want to get. Obviously, if I'm going to get them, I got to get them on this next round. We'll pause. We'll come back. We'll see where we're at. And we'll see who we're going to take. All right, so here's how the 17th round went after Tar Tyler Conklin was taken. Then it was Donta Foreman, J.J. McCarthy, rookie quarterback, Javon Baker, rookie wide receiver, Daniel Jones. Then Zay Jones, another player I really like late. I had him on my list. Um, he's the wide receiver, too. Again, a wide receiver, too. Jacksonville, 17th round. I love that. Greg Dorch, Devontae Walker, that's a rookie wide receiver. Jalen Hyatt. Uh, then Audric Esteem, a rookie running back. Damian Pierce, Tyler Boyd closed out the 17th round. 18th round begins with Will Shipley. Gardner Minshew comes off next. Then Malik Washington, um, A.J. Dillon, Jermaine Burton. Uh, by the way, those are both rookie wide receivers. Uh, Juwan Johnson, Noah Fant, Darren Waller. So we're having a little run on tight ends right now. 
Uh, although I don't really like any. I mean, Juwan is okay. I don't like Noah Fant or Darren Waller. Bigsby comes off at 213. Two picks to me. And uh, let's see here. So uh, you can see here I've got uh, I've got some good choices. Alexander Madison is very tempting here um, in the 19th round. Uh, but uh, we do have some decent wide receivers here, like Kendrick Bourne I'm very interested in. He just got a big extension. Uh, but I do need to take my quarterback. So I got to take my quarterback three. Penix has been getting tons of buzz, possibly moving into the first round of the NFL draft. I got to take advantage of that. So, and he's a rushing, I believe he's a rushing quarterback. I got to double check that, but I believe he is uh, that kind of a player. And I think, um, oh, I really need another tight end. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my tight end fork just because I really need it. This is the Rams tight end. And I guess Higby uh, tore his ACL. He's not coming back to at least mid-year. So I think he's going to have a valuable role in that offense. Parham Jr. is also, I think, a really good late tight end. So I got four tight ends now. I got my three quarterbacks. That's exactly the kind of build I like to do. Uh, when it comes to the next round, it's just going to be uh, – uh, you know, whoever is left, I will go for whoever is left. There are a couple of names that are still out there that I very much like, and if they're available, I'll take them, but we'll pause. We'll come back. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll review the team and you guys can let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this. All right. So the, for the last pick, I had a choice between Brendan Rice, Frank Gore Jr. Or, um, who did I end up taking? I ended up taking, um, uh, wide receiver, Calvin Austin of Pittsburgh. I, I'm a believer in the scouting that, that Pittsburgh does on their wide receivers and knowing that Deontay Johnson is gone, Calvin Austin moves up to the number two receiver position. Uh, there could be some nice upside there. So let's review the team. So for my quarterbacks, I got Jordan Love, Baker Mayfield, and Michael Penix Jr., Penix very much a speculative pick, uh, but uh, I'm just checking his stats right now. And uh, let's see here. What did he have for, um, uh, let's see here, for rushing? Um, nope, he is not a rushing quarterback. So that is not who he is. But uh, anyway, hopefully he'll be decent. He, like I said, getting a lot of good buzz right now. Baker Mayfield. Meh, I'm not really thrilled with that, but I missed on all the uh, QB2s that I wanted. Uh, you know, kind of Mike, uh, Matthew Stafford is kind of the last quarterback I want as a QB2. Uh, but I, I give myself a C on the quarterbacks. Now, running backs, I think are great, man. Look, I got Bijan, Josh, Jacobs, and Travis Etienne as my top three. I took Trey Benson, the rookie, who's probably going to be the first running back off the board, probably going to either, hopefully, uh, the Chargers or Dallas, I would love that. That would massively increase his value. Then I took Chuba, Chuba Hubbard, who I really like. Dude's on a contract year. Um, he displaced, um, uh, who, who was the running back that was actually the starter there? I, um, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. Totally displaced and and bumped him down the, the draft chart. Dude had over 200 touches. Uh, close to 300 touches and targets last year. It's a bad offense with a bad offensive line. He was still effective. He was still a good player. Uh, you know, I got him in the 10th round. So I, I'm really happy with that. Uh, wide receivers. Okay, so here's here's where I was most concerned. And I actually don't hate this wide receiver core, but it is weaker than I usually get. But having Amari Cooper as my one, Jaden Reed as my two, Deontay Johnson as my three with Tyler Lockett as a flex in there. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. I like that. Then I got the rookies, Lab McConkley and Malachi Corley. I like both those guys. So we'll see what happens where they go. Wandale Robinson and Calvin Austin are the guys that round out this list. Again, neither one of those guys are spectacular players, but they can be useful for best ball. And hopefully Calvin Austin will see a nice increase in usage in year two, although it'll remain to be seen um, you know, uh, with, with that offense. Uh, and then finally my tight ends again, missed on the tight end. I wanted missed on, um, uh, I, I missed on, uh, uh, Dalton Schultz. That's the guy that I've been taking like as my tight end one in almost every draft. I missed on him. So I had to go with Cole Komet who is going to be splitting time with Gerald Everett now. And there's more target competition in this offense. So that's a problem. So he's not a great tight end one. Um, I might have to move to where I take my tight end in the ninth round instead of the 10th round, which is what I've been doing. But uh, Cole Komet, but I like who I backed him up with, Hunter Henry, Tyler Conklin, and then an upside play with Davis Allen, who I think is going to have a nice role on the Rams offense this year with Higby out for probably most of the year. So uh, I give myself like a B minus on the tight ends. 
Uh, I give myself probably a B on the wide receivers. Uh, the running backs, I, I think, are great. I, I give myself an A on the running backs just because we did go with the three earlies. Uh, but what do you think, man? Uh, thanks for sticking out, sticking out this long. Um, let me know what you think of this draft. Uh, how do you think this compares to my other drafts? Uh, you know, when we look at total points scored, it's a little lower than uh, than what I like to get. I like to get around 3,000 projected points. But uh, this is pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm not hating this team. I'm just concerned that this team has enough oomph to be a, a league winner. I don't think it's a league winner. It doesn't look like one. Uh, but I think it is a solid team. So anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. We're doing these every week. Um, and uh, we're going to do it all through until the season starts, all right? So uh, thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.